Last night, we got a brand new six minute trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and now we have translations and a full breakdown. Let's take a look. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are diving into the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus and this incredible six minute gameplay trailer that dropped in Japan last night out of nowhere. Now, I woke up this morning expecting an English version, and we didn't get one, and it's still possible we get something throughout the rest of the day. But the legendary Pokey Starmie has actually provided translations for us. I'll put Pokey Starmie's link in the description. A wonderful member of the community who's always looking to help out. And we have full translations. So I'm actually going to go through the trailer with the translations. And then we're going to do a breakdown at the end. Kind of uncovering some of the stuff that maybe we missed. Or maybe some things that we didn't know before. Now that we have this information that we previously didn't have. So it should be a lot of fun. Hit that like button if you guys enjoy this one. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. A drop to 1 million subs. We are getting there. And you don't want to miss out on the news and the epic legends arceus content right here on the channel without further ado let's jump into it and let's break it all down okay so i'm gonna just kind of go one thing at a time here and translate through the entirety of the trailer but this is such a great trailer and i'm honestly so excited for all this gameplay because it's, it's just it's just insane dude it's honestly insane it's so excited to see all this different stuff like dodging away from the Gligar and the electivire and just so many great things so, from a time when humans and Pokemon didn't yet travel the same road together. So, they're basically saying, back in the past, Pokemon and humans were not super interconnected. Now, in Sinnoh, but in the past, it was known as Hisui. At this time, not much was known about wild Pokemon that lived in this area. Because of this, many people feared Pokemon, and these people gathered together to help one another in the Jubilee Village. This is where the story starts. So very cool, very cool backstory. Your mission is to investigate the local Pokemon of the Hisui region. You'll become a member of the Galaxy team whom are responsible for researching Pokemon in the Hisui region with the aim of completing the Pokedex. Your base camp is your starting point while doing research. You can catch Pokemon with Pokeballs, but not all Pokemon are going to be easy to catch. I might be a little ahead here, but nonetheless. At those times, you'll need to battle with your own Pokemon in order to weaken the other Pokemon. So, some Pokemon are going to be harder, and we see later in the trailer Pokemon legit, like, flying away. Which is really, really cool. Unless you're shiny hunting. Hisui and Pokemon have many different habits. Some live in groups, some will flee the moment they are detected. But there are also Pokemon who will vigorously attack you. So there's the Starly fleeing. And now there's the ones that will attack you. There are Pokemon who are much stronger than you. So in order to continue your research, it would be best to run away. So much like Skyrim, I'm going to pause for a second. I, I'm a big Skyrim guy. And much like Skyrim, you can go anywhere on the map at any time in Skyrim. And maybe this won't be the same. But in Skyrim, you could go anywhere. But you may run into a Falmer dungeon or something. And all of a sudden, you're not there. You're not ready to take that on. So you either die or you better get the heck out of there before you get wrecked. So really, really cool mechanics. If you return to the base camp with injured Pokemon, you can restore their health by resting there. And we'll talk a little bit about this in a bit because I think there's something really cool with that. Additionally, to support you in your research, there is a Team Galaxy Professor's Laventon. If you report your research to Professor Laventon, your Pokedex will be upgraded. To do this, there are many tasks to complete. For example, catch count or skill count. If you clear the task, the Pokedex will be enriched with information. One thing to mention is the Wurmple no longer has the yellow spike on its back, as shown earlier in the, in the trailers. And another thing to mention is it seems as though, based on those images, we'll be able to catch the starter Pokemon that are not in our game that we don't choose rather so if you pick Cyndaquil you'll be able to find an Oshawott later and catch it and I feel like that's actually a really cool thing that um hasn't really been a thing in other Pokemon games because they rely on trading but this game isn't really going to rely on that as much because it's more of a single player experience from the home of Jubilife Village you can prepare for your research 
There's an item shop where you can buy various items. There's a craft store where you can make items out of materials that you have gathered, like they're crafting Pokeballs here. And from my understanding, there's actually a big focus in this game about resource management. So you're gonna really need to utilize the resources you have and they could become uh, difficult to obtain at some point if you're trying to complete this entire game, which from the Riddlers that we've seen, or the Riddles that we've seen from the Leaker, that you need to complete the entirety of the Pokedex to ultimately be able to uh, capture Arceus. There's also a clothes shop. Um, oh, there's a farm where you can keep your Pokemon you've caught, and there's a clothes shop. You can change your hairstyle at the salon if you want to. You can take, oh uh, yeah, change your hairstyle here. You can take photos with your Pokemon at the photo studio. And then in Jubilee Village, there's also Team Galaxy's headquarter building. Team Galaxy's leader, Commander Kamado, and Captain Celine will judge your continued research and your rank will increase, allowing you to be able to enter new areas. And I'll talk about this shot here in a minute, the ranking increasing. In the Hisui region, there are some Pokemon who have revived special blessings or skills. Oh, that's the next part. Yeah, here we go. In the Hisui region, there are Pokemon who have revived special blessings or skills. These are the Pokemon that you can ride on. With the support of these Pokemon, you can get to areas that you wouldn't be able to research, and you'll be able to research in more areas. Which, those shots are amazing. Additionally, in the Hisui region, there are Pokemon who are highly respected by the people. Noble Pokemon. I do wonder if that Abra, by the way, is a way to teleport. But because of a mysterious power, the noble Pokemon have become frenzied and attack. To counter these frenzied noble Pokemon, you have a special tool, the Balms. While avoiding powerful attacks, please try using your Pokemon to battle the noble Pokemon. The majestic land and the wild wonders hidden in it. And what about the legendary Pokemon Arceus? I might be a little ahead here, but that's okay. And by the way, I do want to say, guys, it is pronounced Arceus, okay? I know a lot of people don't like my pronunciation and they argue with it. I confirmed it last night. I went on Twitter and I confirmed it. And that's what they said in the movie. It's Arceus. Just saying. I love this hair cross shot. In Hisui, the links between Pokemon and humans. This is the beginning of the story. This game is going to be sick, dude. I'm so excited for it. So that's the translation again. Big shouts to Pokestarmy for putting that together for us because if it wasn't for them, there's no way I could have ever done something like this. And I do, I really expected an English version to come out, but it didn't. So that's that. But we have a couple other things I want to talk about in this video. I kind of covered a few things as we went along, like the Abra and stuff, but there's a few other things I want to mention. So let's dive into that too. So the first thing is the Riddler here, who has been our primary leak source, has indicated that this screenshot here is going to double, triple, quadruple, or XX times your gameplay. It's really annoying. So I guess getting these stars and being able to kind of move forward to progress in the game can get a little annoying. And you're going to have to fill the research tasks to be able to do that. And the Riddler has indicated in the past that he thinks that most people won't be able to finish this game, which involves completing the Pokedex and then ultimately getting to Arceus. I guess it's pretty involved. He then goes on to say that one of the hardest boss fights, Garchomp, is level 85. Roar can also damage you. Watch out, trainers. So it seems as though some of these bosses are going to be no joke for the player. We got a couple shots from Reddit of different things that people have pointed out, like the Weird Deer being able to kind of have no invisible walls and maybe go out of bounds and kind of climb up walls. And I remember riding horses in Skyrim and trying to climb up walls too, so that could be really cool. From the base camp, it seems as though you can change the time of day through morning, midday, evening, or night through base camp, as we know that you can rest there to also heal your Pokemon. 
I mentioned the Abra earlier, which could be a mechanic for fast travel or being able to travel to different parts of the map without having to do anything else. It seems weird that there's just like a randomly an Abra hanging out in the galaxy headquarters, but we'll have to see how that kind of comes out. They may want you to use the wild Pokemon, but like if you're starting out in Jubilife and you have to get all the way to like Snow Point, that's like a pretty long travel. So I have to believe that there's going to be fast travel points as well. There's definitely some screenshots of the trainer interacting with their very various Pokemon, and it'll be interesting to see how following Pokemon works or what that level of interactivity looks like. And it seems as though some people on Reddit spotted a new town in Legends. Here's some screenshots of some of the snowy areas and what does seem to be a town. It could be related to like Snow Point and um, maybe like the Snow Point Temple and stuff, but it seems as though there could be other settlements and other towns outside of just Jubilee in this game. And last but not least, we've got this interesting net tool here next to the Pokeballs, which might be some sort of net ball or some sort of spider web of sorts to reduce the Pokemon speed. A lot to be kind of determined about that, but I think we're gonna get more information very, very soon. So that's pretty much that. Another shout out to Pokestarmy for providing the translation for this video. And if you guys have any thoughts or anything that you think we missed, leave them in the comments section below. But this is an exciting time to be a Pokemon fan and I am over the moon and overjoyed for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope you guys are too. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. That's gonna be that for me guys. My name is Dan, I also go by A-Drive and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.